Hi folks, are we okay today? It's good to be with you and love to everybody out there. Uh, I just want to share a, a scripture, a couple of scriptures and just have a few thoughts just to encourage you today. So I'm going to pray. Father, we acknowledge our sin and we acknowledge our need of you. And Father, we thank you uh, for your mercies and your love. Dear God, Help us, O oh God, to read your word and to be faithful to you. Forgive us our foolish ways, in Jesus' name. Amen. I pray, Father, you bless every family represented who hear this video. And bless us all, we pray in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Don't forget my website, jasonburnspreacher.com. Um, uh, jasonburnspreacher.com. You can also get me on Facebook and Twitter. Facebook's more like Bible teaching and Twitter's more apologetics. Uh, if you'd like to turn uh, to the book of Jude and um, in Jude chapter 1 it says Jude the servant of Jesus Christ and brother of James to them that are sanctified by God and Father and preserved in Jesus Christ and called Mercy unto you and peace from and love be multiplied. Beloved, when I give all diligence to write unto you of the common salvation, it was needful for me to write unto you and exhort you that you should earnestly contend for the faith which was once delivered unto the saints. For there are certain men crept in on the words who were before of old ordained to the condemnation, ungodly men turning the grace of our God into lasciviousness and denying uh, the only Lord God and our Lord Jesus Christ. I will therefore put you in remembrance, though you once knew this, how that the Lord, having served the people out of the land of Egypt, afterwards destroyed them that believed not. And the angels which kept not their first estate, but left their own habitation, yet reserved in everlasting chains unto darkness, unto the judgment of the, of the great day. Even as Sodom and Gomorrah and the cities about them in like manner, giving themselves over to fornication and going after strange flesh, are set forth for an example, suffering the vengeance of eternal fire. Likewise also these filthy dreamers defile the flesh, despise dominion and speak evil of dignities. Yet Michael the archangel, when contending with the devil, he disputed about the body of Moses, does not bring against him a railing accusation, but said, The Lord rebuke thee. But these speak evil of those things which we know not, but what they know naturally are brute beasts. In these things they corrupt themselves, woe unto them, for they have gone in the way of Cain and ran greedily after the error of Balaam, for he will ward and per perish in the gainsaying of Kor. These are spots in your feast of charity when they feast with you, feeding themselves without fear, clouds they are without water, carried about of winds, trees whose fruit were in without fruit twice dead, plucked up by the roots, raging waves of the sea, foaming their own shame, wandering stars to whom is reserved the blackness of darkness for ever. And Enoch also, the seventh from Adam, prophesied of these, saying, Behold, the Lord cometh with ten thousand of his saints to execute judgment upon all and to convince all that are ungodly among them all their ungodly deeds which they have ungodly committed and have sinners have spoken against them and it, and it goes on and on about uh, in you know the last days these these false teachers will come and then you've got um, if you go to 2 Peter Uh, to Peter uh, chapter 2 uh, but these were false prophets also among the people even as there shall be false teachers among you who privily shall bring damnable heresies even denying the Lord that bought them and bring unto them self swift destruction and many will follow the pernicious ways by reason of whom the way of truth shall be evil spoken of and through covetousness shall they with fine words make merchandise of you whose judgment now of a long time lingereth not and the damnation slumbereth not for if God spurred not the angels that sinned but cast them down to hell and delivered them into chains of darkness 
to be reserved unto judgment. And spare not the old world, but save Noah, the eighth person, a preacher of righteousness, bringing in the flood upon the world of the ungodly, and turning the cities of Sodom and Gomorrah also into ashes, condemned them with, with an overthrow, making them an example unto them, unto those that are after, after should live ungodly, and delivered just Lot, vexed with filthy conversation of the wicked, for that the righteous man dwelling among them, among them in seeing and hearing, vexed his righteous soul from day to day with the awful deeds. The Lord knoweth how to deliver the godly out of temptation and to reserve the unjust unto the day of judgment to be punished. So, here, uh, again, it's warning of false teachers. So in Jude, it's warning of false teachers. And in Peter, it's warning of false teachers. Um, and then if you turn to uh, to Timothy chapter 3 this know also that in the last days perilous times shall come for men shall be lovers of their own selves covetous, boasters, proud, blasphemers disobedient to parents unthankful, unholy, without natural affection truce breakers, false accusers incontinent, fierce, despisers of those that are good traitors, heady, high minded lovers of pleasure more than lovers of God so, my thought today uh, to encourage you is that as time goes on, there'll be more and more uh, encroachment on evangelical truth that the, even the fundamentals will continually uh, be challenged by even evangelicals, you know. So, we've got to be vigilant and realize that these heresies are around and they and 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 they creep into the church and you know we've got to stay strong in the word of god and read the great uh, christian classics you know read read uh, good christian books uh, such as um, the Puritans, read some of the great Puritan writers, um, uh, you know, uh, for those who are just starting off, Thomas Watson, John Bunyan, um, these are great Puritan writers that are steeped in the word of God. So I just want to encourage you really and just to warn you. Um, you're going to be taken down by a heresy if you're not reading this book and studying it. You're going to be taken down by a heresy if you're listening to Bible teachers that are, are no good. You're going to get taken down. You're not going to grow solidly. You're going to be always going from side to side. You're always going to be shifting to this doctrine and that doctrine because you're not grounded. You've got to be grounded in the word of God and if you're not grounded in the word of God when these heresies are come and they're already here they're already at the door there's new perspective I'll go into a few things there's new perspectives on Paul uh, there's a new th kind of theology going around that's been going around for a few years and many academics are, are giving new ideas about how we interpret the Apostle Paul uh, Various doctrines on hell, there's universalism that everybody's going to be saved, there's annihilationism that people are going to be destroyed, there's openness of God theology that says that God doesn't even know the future, uh, there's the health and wealth gospel, there's ecumenicalism, um, there's the various scholars of uh, a reneging on inerrancy, they don't believe the Bible's fully inspired. There's a tax by Bart Ehrman in America, and it's and it's gaming weight in the UK, attacking the uh, textual criticism of the Bible. There's all these attacks going on, and if you're not strong in the Word, you're going to get taken down. You you you're going to get taken out. You know, you've got to be strong in the Word of God. 
Listen to good Bible teachers. Listen to, go to Dr. Martin Lloyd-Jones Recording Trust and go through his series on Romans or Ephesians or something and get grounded in the Word of God. Yeah? I, I thank God for the Reformed faith because one of the things about the Reformed faith is they, 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 the, the history of the Reformed faith is they just want to be faithful to the Word of God. You might not agree with everything they say, but their dictate is to be faithful to the Word of God. And that has always stood me in good stead. When I went to seminary, we were hit from side to side with all sorts of different theories about the Bible and theology, but I was able to stand strong because I was grounded in the Word of God. When I'm on the streets, we get attacked by various people who want to attack the Christian faith and question the Christian faith. I'm able to stand tall, strong, because I'm grounded in the Word of God. When I was on the internet years ago and being bashed by tens of thousands of atheists, and uh, I got through it in the end, because I, the Bible was my rock. And... I went to good Christian teachers, good Christian theologians that, that, that were standing on the Word of God, you know? So, yeah, so go to Dr. Martin Lloyd Jones Recording Trust and, and go and get yourself, go to Banner Truth Trust and go and buy yourself some Banner Truth books. Go and read some of their books, yeah? I don't care which books you get from the Banner Truth, every one of them is worth its weight in gold. Okay, just get the books, and uh, particularly by J.C. Ryle, uh, J.C. Ryle, uh, John Newton, uh, Dr. Martin Lloyd-Jones. There are many, many good books by the Banner Truth Trust. They're all solidly biblical, and, and they'll help you, you know. They really, really will help you. So please stand. Please realize that I, I, I keep going on about this because I'm, I, it, 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 there's so many heresies and so many bad teaching going on on the internet. The people are getting taken down and it's because you, you, you've not got discernment, because you're not, you're not grounded in the Word of God. And that comes also to, uh, I've got to go now, but uh, Bible teachers and preachers, you know. Um, you've got to be reading and studying uh, good theology books, you know. Um, get hold of some of the banner books, some of the theology books, the Puritan theology books, and start reading them and studying them, like some of the John Owen's works or something, you know. Um, because if you're reading good material, then it just builds you up and it, it just strengthens you, you know. So that you can, you can not be infiltrated by false doctrine and false teaching, you know. Um, and, and if you're teaching and preaching the word of God, uh, go through the Bible chapter by chapter in your church. And, and what you're doing is you're training your people to study the whole word of God. Uh, the whole counsel of God. So, yeah, so I'll finish now. So, please... Please realize there's a, a lot of heresy going on all over the place. Um, and it's all over the internet. And you, you've got to be vigilant and be very discerning about what you take in and who you listen to and what you're studying. There are false teachers by the ton out there and they will drag you down and you'll be deceptively taken in. They're very deceptive. They sound evangelical. For example, on the doctrine of hell, these people who deny the doctrine of hell, the annihilationist and the universalist, they'll sound so evangelical. But it's acid that they're pouring into your faith and you don't realise it. Uh, these people are questioning the Bible like Bart Ehrman and many, many evangelicals who've taken on these ideas. They sound so plausible. But yet, it's acid. And, um, yeah, I would go to R.C. Sproul's Legionnaire Ministries, Legionnaire Ministries, 
Uh, RC Sproul's website, Legionnaire Ministries, is a really good place where you can learn to defend your faith and, and be strong in the faith. Okay. All right, got to go. So take care. God bless you. Don't forget my website, jasonburnspreacher.com. I'm going to Oxford soon, so please pray for mission. Uh, I'm excited about that, so please pray. And we've got some great missionaries coming in the next few weeks. Uh, yeah, in the next few weeks from Holland, so pray about that. All right, God bless you, and love to everybody. Be discerning, be vigilant, keep in the word. Okay, God bless you.